Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Andy back another video over here. And uh, if you've already clicked this video, I'm pretty sure you know it's going to be a bag video if you know the brand Timbuktu. And yeah, I came, I came, I came across this bag by accident actually. Saw it on the store, in the, in the, on the shelf. Now this is the Timbuktu Rogue Backpack. Uh, took the grey coloured one. No, just because it's it's gray and it looks pretty cool and uh, what I really like about this is that it's uh, kind of a military uh, almost a military kind of uh, design but they made it into a more everyday use kind of bag so uh, it's kind it's a, um, a cross between a military uh, rugged bag and a everyday use kind of bag but Primarily, I think uh, people who actually want to use this for everyday carry, uh, they want simple access, they want simple bag like this, so you can actually put um, stuff on the front as well. Because you can see over here, there are mollies, molly straps on the front, and also bigger straps at the, in, the, in the front pocket area here, which is over here. I'm not sure if you can see it right over here. Yeah, and this actually makes uh, makes it easy for you to put stuff in it. Uh, basically, a bicycle lock in between the webbing over here. You can use that. And of course, uh, let me talk about a bit about the front of the bag. It is the front part of the bag is protected by material called tropolin, tropolin or tropolin, however you want to pronounce that. That is a part of the uh, bag for the front top part, the front part. And also the bottom part is uh, made out of this material, which actually give it gives it a little bit of waterproofing. How much waterproofing? I can't really say because it depends on how wet you want to get. If you get into a thunderstorm or something, but I think for light showers, not a problem. And but just take note that the sides of the bag over here, right? They are made out of um, I guess you could say nylon. It's not really, I don't think this would be very waterproof. It is quite thick, but it's not enough, I think. Um, I'm just going to say it's, it may get wet. Um, may not get, uh, it may protect you in somewhat so that water won't get in, unless it's really, really pouring and you really get a lot of water on it. So yeah, let's, I'll, I'll try to keep water off this as much as possible. But the front part, not an issue. Both sides of the back, like I mentioned, I'll have that. Now, on one side of the back, there is uh, more web, uh, molly webbing over here, so you can put stuff. You can hang, uh, you know, carabiners or small, smaller backpack stuff here. Back icons here. You can just put them over there. No, not a problem. Then over there on the other side, this one over here has a water bottle pocket, or you can use it for something else, I guess. Like um, you want to put a simple thing like this. So. Just showing you an example. I don't have my water wall here, but it is it's what you can fit in uh, on the inside the backpack on the side over here. Um, if you do use a water bottle, if take note that if you do put a tall water bottle, there is no straps here for you to uh, fasten it down. So if you do jostle it around, it may fall out. Now let's take a look at the back of the backpack area over here. Yes, the uh, once again you see a little bit of tropolin on the on these straps over here when you have the bag over your shoulder. Uh, this is more on the top side if you're actually riding it or, or wearing it. So yeah, the top part may get. I don't think this is really a worry when it comes to getting wet or not. Um, the portion where your body will actually rest on the backpack, actually this area over here is uh, it has some breathability to it there is a nice padding on it i like i kind of like it it's uh, soft enough makes it easy and very comfortable to carry the bag and also it's it's uh, breathable so when you actually have it on your back not a problem when you actually get um, sweaty a little bit so no not an issue there's also a removable sternum strap over here you can actually use this to get have a little bit more support or you can actually, if you don't use it at all, you just don't want it there, you know, flinging around and all, you can actually just um, unhook them and they're actually just held down by uh, some buttons over here, which are cleverly made. So, yeah, some buttons over here and over that, just click it on, slip it on under the, the whole areas and you can actually slip, click that on, not a problem. And of course, one thing interesting here that the Timbuktu added to their bag is the um, addition of a bottle cap opener. 
yes there is a bottle cap opener on the one of the straps on the I would say on the right right hand side strap when you wear this and you can actually use that I think it comes in handy if you do you know have drinks that you need to open up or whatever you want to use that for open up bottle caps of course yep so that's the uh, exterior part of the bag let's get let's deep dive inside the bag a little bit there's a very nice clips over here to hold the top down in addition to that there is velcro as well so there is velcro holding the top down i know some people might not like the velcro sound thing but i i feel that it kind of gives its purpose it serves its purpose to make sure the top of the bag you know the flap actually stays there and make sure it actually is more secure and to make it even more secure you can actually have the uh, clips clipped on as well so there you go now one thing about the inside of the bag here is that it has one big giant pocket okay one big giant pocket that is uh, the entirety of this bag so if you look at it like this this whole section is is the top of the bag the whole section here is the big giant pocket All right and you can pretty much fit a lot of things inside here i think this is a 25 liter if i'm not mistaken 25 liter capacity and actually you can fit quite a lot um let me get my this is the packing cube i normally use for my short travels maybe one or two days worth of clothes inside here all my necessities of, for clothing it can go into the bag without any problem and basically it takes up about just slightly over half the space of the bag and you can actually put more stuff on the top over here so a lot more things can go in at the top and you can you know, put your toothbrush packs or power bank packs whatever you want inside one more thing that I do want to mention that this bag has is a laptop compartment yes it does have a laptop compartment it's uh, held down with a velcro as well and uh, one thing about the this is I think it can actually fit up to a 15 inch it's able to fit up to a 15 inch laptop in this bag which is also a plus uh, if you have big laptops like that uh, one more thing here I do want to mention about the laptop uh, sleeve inside the bag and the pocket is that um, the front part where it actually holds the laptop where, where it's inside the compartment it is more of like a webbing material whereas most backpacks have a, a few of like a full kind of cover this one has a webbing type of material inside which uh, I think it's all right but I don't know why they did that because now you're lacking kind of protection from from the laptop compartment to the rest of the bag and and the back part of the bag where it goes to your back and the laptop actually rests somewhere over here it doesn't feel very thick well it makes sense to make it this way because you don't want the bag to be too heavy okay and this makes sure that the ensures the bag isn't too heavy so you can use it every day with not an issue all right so but i do wish i did wish that um it had more protection on the laptop compartment area but overall if you pack everything in whatever you need it's going to be pretty snug pretty okay and uh yeah being the being a top loading kind of compartment you can actually just hang you know a uh another thing over here maybe you can hang you've got some space over here to uh, actually hang jackets and all that while you actually keep this on you can carry that as well uh, if you pack it properly let me see if i can get it to stand it can stand on its own if you have it packed properly <laughs> i don't have enough stuff inside but yes it can stand on its own not a really a big issue there i just wanted to share this video that you know this bag is available out there it's for someone who wants to use it for you know everyday carry kind of thing it's uh it's comfortable it's light it's, even with my clothes in it it doesn't feel too heavy it's nice and easy to, to use let me see if i can show you how much this works over here okay i am uh, about five seven and this is what it looks like on me so it's not too bulky
one more thing I do want to mention that the zippers over here, yeah, they are YKK zippers. The front pocket passion here. Okay, YKK zippers, if you don't know them, they are one of the best zipper companies in the world. Very nice and easy to use the zippers. But once again, even though the front part is the tropolin, this part of where the zipper is isn't the type of zipper where you actually have the waterproofing type material. You know, it's almost like a plasticky tarpaulin style as well. But this is more like a um, it's water resistant. It gives you kind of kind of uh, it's a cloth material as well. So it's not really waterproof, but um, I guess it just does help with a bit of rain or a little bit of water if you get onto it. So take note on that as well. Thanks so much for actually sticking all the way on to this video. I appreciate uh, you guys watching the video in the first place. And if you do like this video, thumbs up for me, please. And if you uh, haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and leave any comments you want below, questions on anything or anything like that. Just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them on the channel. And until the next video, guys, thanks so much. Out.